Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson. This week for our project, I was inspired by something I love dearly and that is my pet. I love my pet. I have a one year old uh, dog at home. Her name is Indy Anna Jones and I love her so much. So I was really inspired by my dog Indy and uh, wanted to give us a chance to draw um, something that we all love, which is our pet. Um, and even if you don't have a pet at home, uh, maybe you don't have a dog, um, you can always do your cat. Or um, if there's another type of dog that you'd like to draw, feel free to do that today. So I'm calling this project uh, Royal Pooches because we're going to make our um, pooches have crowns at the end because I don't know about you, but my dog thinks she runs the house and is Miss Princess. So I'm going to um, draw a dog. It doesn't have to necessarily be your dog, but draw a dog um, with a nice crown on top and we'll practice kind of looking at a picture and trying to interpret um, specific features of that animal um, to, so that we kind of know uh, what it is and what it um, is supposed to represent. Um, so what you're going to need today is a piece of paper. You're also going to need a pencil. I'm gonna use a black pen to outline my drawing. I always like to have clean lines, so I use black pen, but that's optional. And then something to color with. You can use either crayons, markers, colored pencils. You can even use watercolor paints if you'd like. Um, I am kind of debating what I will use today. I might use um, a little bit of all of it. I'm not really sure. Um, but it's up to you how you want to color your drawing today. Day. Um, if you're looking to do kind of traditional colors like browns and blacks, um, you might want to uh, take that into consideration when you're looking at your materials. Like my paints, I only really have like one brown um, and uh, same with my markers. So maybe I'll use kind of like crayons or colored pencils or something along those lines. So just think about that as you are planning for your project. Now there are a ton of different dog types out there. Um, so you can feel free to draw whatever type of dog you want. So there are dogs like bulldogs, beagles, cocker spaniels, basset hounds, shepherds, and so much more. Um, so, so much more. So feel free to do whatever type of dog you like. I recommend, I listed some in this video. You can also look um, online um, or even if you have a dog um, or cat even, you can look at your pet and try and capture their face. Um, so I am going to draw um, a couple different types of dogs for you um, and showing you a couple different types of dogs so that you can kind of get idea of maybe how to capture these if you don't have a picture um, you can follow along with any of these breeds so I think I'll probably do so for this video I'm going to go through a few different distinct dog breeds and um, how you can draw them to kind of capture maybe that specific look of a dog. Um, so if you don't have a dog or anything to draw from, continue watching this video and I'll kind of show you some different ways you can draw some different kind of dogs. I might also draw my dog in the end um, so you can see what she looks like. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So get your piece of paper. And the first dog I'm going to draw is a bulldog. So bulldogs are super recognizable breed. They've got smooshed up faces. Um, we have English bulldogs, which have kind of floppy ears. We've got French bulldogs, with little pointy ears. Um, so you can always change those kind of things, but here's how you draw a dog kind of with a smushed face. So I'm gonna draw my, um, crown first because I told you we're drawing royal pooches here so I'm going to draw kind of my crown up at the top and then uh, I'm going to draw the face of my dog so bulldogs have huge heads um, and their heads are kind of like big squares. So I'm just gonna start off of 
of my crown here and draw the kind of big head. And then they've got these big jowls, which are like their lips that kind of hang down. So I'm gonna draw that. It's kind of almost like a, almost like a heart shape on either side. But instead of coming to a point like a heart, you can kind of do like a little, like opposite direction of um, curved line. So it's kind of like a wave almost. It's like big and then like a tiny wave and then like going the opposite direction. So it's kind of like a big kind of wave line. And that gives us these kind of jowls. Now our mouth of our dog is also going to be kind of a big smile line. So I kind of draw a big chin like that. So here's where our mouth is gonna be. Um, now we have the head, so we need to draw our um, other parts like our ears, our face, our nose. Um, so I'm going to start with my uh, nose here. And they kind of have, their nose is kind of like up much higher. It's not going to be lower by their lip. It's going to be kind of up in the middle of the face. And it's kind of like a big jelly bean shape maybe. And then we can draw a kind of little, maybe nostrils. Some of them kind of come up. Their, their nose kind of comes up maybe, kind of like that. Got a little divot in it. There we go. Um, I'm also gonna draw uh, my eyes and you can kind of choose how you wanna draw your dog's eyes. Um, I think dog's eyes are kind of beady usually. They're kind of just like black holes, <laughs> black pits of mud. Um, usually they're kind of like that. So I'm gonna leave mine like that. Um, I'm gonna actually add some teeth onto my bulldog because I feel like bulldogs always have like underbites where their teeth come sticking out from their, um, from under their lip there. So I'm gonna add those. And then I'll do my ears. So I'm doing mine as like a English bulldog. So he'll have kind of little floppy ears, kind of tiny. There we go. And uh, now we're gonna draw the rest of our dog portrait. It's okay if your head took up a lot of space like mine did. Um, I'm gonna do it like a portrait where the body can go off the page. So I'm doing it kind of like you might see like a painting of a person where it's just kind of the head and maybe like the chest. Um, so I'm gonna do my bulldog body. They've got kind of like big shoulders there and their legs kind of come down in front of them like this. And maybe I'll come down a little bit so they're not balloons there. But there's kind of our bulldog there. So pretty basic shapes when you're constructing um, any kind of dog. It's kind of just like head, ears, um, and then kind of your body. You can add some texture if you want. But this is how you can draw kind of a basic bulldog. Um, if you're looking for a dog that is doesn't have the smushed face, maybe you're looking for one that's more like a shepherd or a cocker spaniel. I'll show you how to draw kind of another um, dog that kind of looks more like that. So how you do kind of a uh, more traditional dog, kind of with the floppy ears and um, that sort of thing is, um, again, we're gonna start with the crown up at the top. You can kind of decorate your crown how you'd like. Um, but then I'm going to have my crown kind of just sit almost like flat on the head. So my dog's head is going to come down. And usually dogs kind of have like square heads, but then the chin and the um, muzzle, it kind of goes into like a, almost like a point. All right, so we kind of are drawing almost like a kind of point. It's kind of like a shield shape, kind of comes down to a point. Um, and this is going to be, 
more of like the bottom of our dog here. And we can always change the shape, um, but we kind of just want to get the gradual kind of shape like this of the head. Now we can add the muzzle because the muzzle is the really important part. That's like where the nose and the mouth is. It kind of sticks out of their face a little bit. And we want to show that. So how we can do that is uh, it kind of starts up at the top, like kind of like a nose, then kind of morphs into a mouth. So at the top here, we can kind of draw something like this where it's kind of like a nose, like a bridge of a nose. But then instead of kind of coming together and making a nose at the bottom, we're going to go out. We're gonna go out and then we're going to kind of do what we did on the bulldog where it goes out like this and then it kind of goes up like a slight wave. And if we kind of remove all of these extra lines here from the face, there we go. We've got kind of our muzzle. It doesn't really look like a muzzle right now, but once we place the nose on it, it will work. So now we need to add the mouth, which we kind of had one there, but I'm going to just clean it up a bit. So I'm going to have my mouth be open on my dog. So I'm going to draw kind of a mouth like this and then place like my tongue. Kind of like that. And once we do that, we can start add our nose, which is gonna be more at the top here. We don't want it to be too low. This is kind of where like the whiskers go. Um, so our nose is gonna be over this side. And there we go. So we've got kind of our dog face head there. Um, if you want to change the shape at all, you can always kind of edit it, change the shape. Mine got a little bit weird. Um, but then the next steps are to add your eyes. If you want, you can add some eyebrows. You know, they kind of have some eyebrows up here. That kind of gives them a little bit more life. And then we can do um, some ears. So depending on what kind of dog you wanna do, I said I was gonna do kind of like a shepherd or cocker spaniel. So I'm gonna do kind of like wavy, kind of furry ears here. And then for the rest of my portrait, I can do kind of like a big body if I wanted. I could have it going off to the side. Um, I think I'm gonna do kind of like, a, you know, kind of a fuzzy body. Maybe I wanna have like my legs kind of going straight down. And do like a chest. Um, but something like that. So the body is, um, you know, we want to really focus on the head. That's kind of our emphasis is where our head is. Um, so our body here is going to be um, uh, a little bit different. It's not going to be kind of a whole body. It's kind of a few kind of big lines just to kind of give kind of the shape of um, some legs and some arms. So these are the two dogs um, that I show you how to do. Um, you can always look at the picture and kind of do your own way, but I wanted to kind of show you how you can do a muzzle on two different kind of looks of dogs if you'd like. Um, it's really up to you um, if you even want to do a dog. You can always do a cat if you have a pet cat that you um, love dearly, but I really want to capture kind of our love for our animals and um, our pets. So um, feel free to kind of take this direct this assignment kind of direction you want to take it, but I wanted to show you kind of some different techniques or ways you can draw some different looking dogs. Um, I'm going to pen these. I'm also going to make a drawing of my own dog. Um, and we'll see how they turn out in the end. 
So here's a picture I did of my dog. She's basically a land hippo, um, little little baby land hippo. Um, but uh, I'm going to color now. Um, like I said earlier, uh, what you use to color may depend on what colors you have and which ones you wanna use. Now, like if you're making up a dog, like you don't have a dog at home, like you can color your dog whatever you wanna color it, right? Like it's your dog. Um, if you uh, don't have browns or grays or whatever and you want to use other colors, feel free. Uh, if you want it to be more realistic, I um, suggest you choose um, either crayons or colored pencils because usually there's more variety of colors that you might have. But if you have any other materials like pens or anything, uh, paints that you want to use instead, you totally can. Um, when I was looking, I remembered that we have these wonderful um, multicultural crayons, which are a lot of different colors of brown and tan, which work really nicely um, when uh, trying to do like a, um, an animal like a dog, because um, usually they have a couple different colors of brown and tan and all that. Um, those are just suggestions. Um, you can kind of try it out for yourself and um, I'm going to get started on my coloring and we'll see all three of my dogs when they're finished. Right, so here are my three dog portraits. Um, I decided just to color the one of my dog, Indy. Um, it's a little bit dark because she's pretty much all brown and has these little brindly lines. So I used marker and then my crayon over it, which kind of helped um, give it a little bit more dimension. Um, but then I have my uh, Cocker Spaniel and my Bulldog. Um, so if you liked those ones, you can always do those um, or do your own pet. Um, if you'd like. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this project. I know that I love my dog. I care about her so much and she is so much inspiration because I see her every day. So I hope that you are also inspired by your wonderful pet that you love, whether it be a cat, a dog, a goldfish, a lizard, anything like that. And if you were able to um, make a imaginary pet today, that's also awesome. Um, because uh, we need to have imagination in our lives and sometimes we need those imaginary friends. Well, thank you everyone. I um, look forward to seeing your royal pooches and pets and um, I will see you next week. Thanks everybody, bye.